of a pride of 10 lions that we've stumbled across. Unlike James and Brent, I am on the eastern side of the Mara River. There's a whole clump of lions back there. One or two more over there. And it's me, it's Scott. Good to have you with us. For those of you who don't know me, it's a pleasure to have you on board. I'm teamed up with Ferg. And we've actually come out into this area in the hope that we we're going to find some cheetah. But quite a few of the rivers that we needed to cross to get into the area where the cheetah are, are flowing too strongly so we couldn't cross into the area where we wanted to get to. You can see there's a lot of cloudy weather out there to the east. We've had a little bit of rain already this afternoon, but most of which fell late last night, as I'm sure Brent and James have already told you. And isn't it wonderful that all three of us traversing the Mara have found you lions? And Tristan has found you a leopard, so it seems like an afternoon littered with big cats. These guys are quite well fed. And the reason being is there's large amounts of wildebeest in this general area. We can't see too many from here, interestingly enough. Actually, across on the hills there, there are a few. But most of them are actually behind us to the south, just beyond a small valley close to where we are right now. There's a multitude of wildebeest, so I'm guessing they've been snacking on them. And they actually just tried to catch one. There was a lone bull that came through and he nearly came unstuck so a good message there and that even though they are full-bellied they will take whatever opportunities arise well as you can see things have calmed down here you came at a good time to see at least a bit of movement we're not going to be going anywhere we're spending the whole night out